Hi everybody, happy Friday and welcome back. Uh, this week we're going to be looking at a tutorial for how to make a bunny style baby teether. I make it with cotton fabric on the front. This is a great project to use up your scrap fabric. And I use a jogging fleece on the back. You want to look for something absorbent. Uh, terry cloth also works really well too. Uh, what washcloths and towels are made out of. And then at the bottom here we have uh, a teething ring. I usually get the beach ones. Um, they have maple too. Uh, you, you just This is the most important part of it. This is what's gonna uh, keep it safe for the baby. You want to inspect it before you use it. Make sure there's no knots or cracks in it or anything like that. I get my rings from Kara & Co. I can leave the link down below. Uh, this one is 2.6 inches or 65 millimeters in diameter. So these are perfect for a cranky, drooly, teething baby. You just dip the um, the fabric part in some water and throw them in the fridge or freezer and it really provides them some good relief so they hold on to the ring and, and chew on the ends here. This is a great project to throw in with a baby shower gift you have already. It's, it's easy, you can whip up a couple of these in half an hour and they're super cute and fun. So let me show you how I make them. For this project, I'm just using a, a fat quarter of fabric, but since you don't need a whole lot, um, this is a great way to use up some scrap fabric as well. I'm just taking it and giving it a good iron to get those creases out. When I cut these out, I make them 3 inches wide and 8 inches long and just taper the top so you have kind of a tail at the end. I have my fabric folded over. So when I open it up, it'll be about 16 inches long before you sew it. And now I'll just grab my backing fabric. I'm using a jogging fleece. I like it because it's absorbent and it's uh, super soft on the one side. You can also use a uh, terry cloth or something else heavy like that. Now I'm just cutting out the backing uh, with the same pattern that I used from the front. Open it up. And I'm going to lay my fabric right side to right side. So I have my right side of my backing facing up and I'm going to flip my cotton over and pin it that way together. Make sure it's lined up especially at the, at the points. So I'm just going to throw a couple pins in there to hold it. One last one here. This, it stays together quite well but this is just for some insurance. And I'm just starting on one of the long sides and going all the way around, leaving about an inch and a half gap so we can turn it out. Now go really slow at your corners and really pay attention to keeping um, the same seam allowance throughout the ends. That's just going to make it look nice and crisp when it's finished. So we sewed this way, and here's our gap right here. Trim the threads. Okay, now I'm just gonna trim off uh, the very tips. Just be careful not to get too close to your thread there. And I'm just gonna take off any extra bulk, especially on the end pieces. It's just gonna give you a cleaner look and it's gonna be easier to press it flat. Uh, just be mindful of where your opening is um, because you don't wanna trim the bulk around the opening because that's what you use to sew it shut. And I'm just gonna find it and flip it inside out. Just be careful you don't pull your stitches on either side of your of your opening. 
And now you can buy a special tool for um, pushing out corners. I just use this uh, little crochet hook to get right in there. I'm just pushing from a bunch of different angles and trying to get that corner um, out as sharp as I can. Do the other side, the same thing. Just really take your time with this part because this is what's going to make it look um, really crisp and professional. There we go. And now I have it on my ironing board. I'm just um, pinching out the sides to make it as even as possible. So when I press it, all I'm going to see is the cotton at the front and our fleece on the back. Give it a little steam there. And I can do the same thing on the other side. Now just pay attention um, to where your opening is here. And you're just going to um, kind of grip it on either side and make sure that both fabrics are folded under and they're laying on top of each other. And it's all even along that one side. And once you press it like that and it's um, it's even and neat, it's gonna be it's gonna be much easier to sew. And there's my opening there. So I'm gonna start sewing on the opposite side. This is just a a top stitch that uh, helps it lay flat and makes it look nice. Depending on your pattern of fabric, you can use a contrasting color if you like that look or um, something matching. Again, I'm just being really careful and going slow on the pointy ends there to make sure that it's even all the way around. And when I come to my opening, I'm just going to make sure that nothing's bunching out. If you ironed it properly, it shouldn't have. There's my opening there, so I'm just um, making sure that I'm um, at the correct seam allowance and I'm going slowly over top of that. And just doing my last corner here. Make sure the threads are out of the way. And there's where I started. I'm just going to go back and forth a couple times just to make sure it's secure. Pop it out and trim the threads up. I'm going to give it just another quick press to make sure everything's flat and it's looking nice. And I'm going to take my wooden teething ring. You can use a silicone one too. And I'm just pinching it in the center. I'm going to lay it on top of the ring and just pull the tails around through the back. So this is going to give you a nice bunny shape, bunny ears and just make sure the front's even and pulled tightly. And there we go, it's all finished. Such a great pattern for Easter. And next is someone who gives it five stars. And that's it guys, thank you so much for following along with me this week. If you enjoy these uh, tutorial types of videos, please let me know down below what you'd like me to do next. Um, I love um, making these, so um, I would like to make more. If you like this, I'll link um, another video uh, for a bandana bib that you can make out of the same fabrics. Um, yeah, it just makes a really nice set. I hope you have a great weekend. Be kind to someone and we'll see you next week. Bye!